Hey Math 31, we're back with example four. We're still gonna use synthetic division. So things I wanna take note of, if I look at my divisor, I do have a binomial and my lead coefficient is one. That's good, all right? If it's not one, again, I can show you a workaround, but it's nice that it is. I also want you to take a look at my numerator and you see that I have descending powers of x, right? x cubed, x squared, x to the one, x to the zero. And I, I don't have any um, skips. It's not like I went from x cubed to x, all right, or x squared to 10. I have all of the descending powers of x. So that's another good little check. And if those two things aren't there, again, we can work around all of that. And we will, I will show you examples of that before too long. All right, so with this, let's synthetically divide and see what we get here. So I'm gonna put the number in my house, all right? I see a plus three here, I'm gonna go minus three or really it's the value of x that would zero out your denominator. So my coefficients look to be four, negative 15, 11, and negative 10. All right, so here we go. We're gonna add up and down and multiply across, or at least that's how I think of it. I add up and down and I multiply across. So this four just comes down. All right, negative three times four is negative 12. Negative 15 plus negative 12, negative 27. All right, negative three times negative 27. Ooh, can I do that in my head? Oh, I can. Three times 27 would be 81. So 81, 81 plus 11, or 11 plus 81 is 92. And now we're getting to the point where I think I'm gonna go grab my calculator. Give me a moment to go run it down. Um, actually, I could do that in my head. I, I just did it in my head, but even if not, let, let's crunch it. Oops, let's clear this out. So we would have negative three times 92, and we get negative 276. And when I add these together, this is gonna make my remainder, so I'm gonna have negative 286. All right, so to go from my, my work, my output work on synthetic division to my answer, when I divide x cubed by x, I'm gonna lower the degree here. So I'm gonna start with x squared. The coefficient would be four. So I have four x squared minus 27x plus 92 minus, now this is my remainder, so it's gotta be 286 in ratio to my divisor of x plus three. So there is my quotient, all right? That's my solution, all right? And just so you know, let me go ahead and put a little separation bar. If you wanted to, I could rewrite this, and let me, let me show you what I, I could say here. We could also write, all right, I could multiply everything in here by x plus three, right? So if you look at this equation, right, it's got fractions in it. And I've said before, if you have an equation with fractions in it, you can multiply everything by the LCD. The LCD here would be x plus three. So imagine I, mad I multiplied everything on the right side by x plus three, everything on the left side by x plus three. If I did that, if I multiply this term by the LCD of x plus three, actually, let me put it over here so you can see it. If I multiply this by x plus three, right, we know these are gonna cancel. So I would get 4x cubed minus 15x squared plus 11x minus 10. That would be equal to, all right, if I multiply the right side, right, if I multiply all of this by x plus three, well, these three terms get multiplied by x plus three. But this term, when I multiply it, the denominators cancel and I just get 286. So you could write your solution that way. You could say your numerator is equal to your quotient times your divisor minus this remainder. I don't know if that's more helpful or more confusing. I just wanted you guys to see it, that you could write it a different way should you want to. All right. So with that, I'm gonna head over to example, or the, the examples on the back. We have example five. And I wanna start to show you what do you do Oops, let me erase this. What do you do when this number, when this coefficient is not a one? And what do you do when you have skipped, you've skipped over powers of x? How do you handle that with synthetic division? Since those are the two things we need to be on the lookout for. All right, with that, I'll catch you on the flip. Okay, bye.